Hey everybody, uh, Keith and I are in the shop this morning. We're gonna do a little tech talk and it'll be kind of like a tech talk mixed with some installation instructions. So what we're gonna go over today is um, our pedal assemblies. Now we do have some eh, decent installation instructions that are on our website, but I thought it would be convenient for me to come in and actually explain to you the hoses, how you're gonna, how you're gonna mount the hoses and where you're gonna drill the holes in the, in the, on the firewall and uh, how, how to mount the reservoir, some of that stuff. So anyways, here's the video, hope you enjoy it. So first off, this is just our display model. And just for display sake, this is a shorter hose than what you would actually use. And, and it would be in a little bit different uh, situation than what you would be doing at home. But uh, so the theory behind our pedals is that we now manufacture the, the entire pedal assembly for a 67 to 72 truck. So you don't have to send us your factory pedal assembly or hanger. Um, it, you know, after labor to convert all the factory stuff, it was just as cheap for the end consumer to be able to buy a brand new pedal assembly. So these are all brand new. Um, and so the, what we've done in manufacturing these is we've beefed up the side of the, the pedal hanger. So it's a, a heavier gauge, uh, steel material that won't allow any flex when you're, when you're operating the clutch, but we put all the hydraulics on the pedal hanger for two reasons. Um, one is so that you can, you don't have to drill a hole in the firewall. Um, a lot of guys would call and say, Hey, I know I got the master cylinder, you know, where, where do I, where do I mount this in the firewall? How do I know that it's going to line up with the actual pedal and where it needs to hook to the pedal? So that was really difficult in explaining how to mount that. And the other thing that was difficult was explaining how to get the pedal ratio correct. And what I mean by that is the ratio of leverage that it takes to operate the master cylinder, how to pick the correct bore of the master cylinder to achieve the right pressure. So we just thought it would be the easiest thing for the consumer to be able to take their pedal assembly out of the truck and reinstall a new pedal assembly with all of the math, all of that stuff sorted and done for you. So we've selected the correct bore, the correct pedal ratio. So all that hard work is out. All you have to do is simply install the pedal hanger under the dash. You'll mount the reservoir, you'll mount two bulkhead fittings, and you'll hook the hoses up and bleed them and you're done. So one of the questions that you guys ask a lot when you do buy these are, how exactly do I um, install the, the plumbing? So here's one thing that I need to explain to you. When, when you pull your hoses out of the box, they're already pre-assembled. Don't take these all apart I put these together just to show you this is the pressure hose and this is the return hose. So the black hose is the fancier hose that goes out on the firewall. That's what will actually hook to the reservoir. So the order in which you want to do this, uh, I, so the way that I tell people to do it, this is the hose. Actually, I'm missing a fitting right here and I'll, I'll explain it to you. This is that little adapter fitting that will come with it will come on this hose. So this is the return side of the master. This is where the fluid would go in, or typically you would see a reservoir sitting here. So get this hose hooked up first, and then on your 67 to 72 firewall, you'll see a, a pretty natural spot for this hose, for this hose where it'll want to land, where you can mount your bulkhead fitting. So do this first, let the, let the hose land in a pretty natural spot, mark the hole, drill the hole in your firewall, you'll install the bulkhead fitting to where the 90 to the forged 90 degree is on the outside of the firewall like you see here. Once that is mounted in the firewall and you tighten the nut on this side, then you can put your predetermined little black piece of hose and then that length will determine where you mount the reservoir. So don't mount this first haphazardly because then it's gonna mess up all the links of all the other hoses. So this hose first, where it lands, drill a hole, mount the bulkhead, put this hose on, and where it naturally lands, uh, lands the reservoir on your firewall is where you'll mark the holes and drill and mount this. It's really simple if you follow those steps. If you mount this first and then you mount this, you're going to get into a situation where this hose is not the right length. And then we got to figure out how to fix that. So please do the reservoir side in those steps. The pressure side is actually a little easier. So it'll come as one long hose and, and it, it will sound like it's, like it's a bad idea to do it this way. But so hook this hose up to the pressure side of the master cylinder. It's right here. 
and it'll come straight down your firewall and your factory fuse block kind of sits right here. So it'll shoot straight down past your factory fuse block and it'll actually go all the way down into the tow boards of, the, of, your, of your floor. So actually I've got a truck here, so I'm gonna go on the other side of the shop and show you where that's gonna come out on the firewall and, and, and why we put it there. So this is how that cable will route. Um, imagine that, that end's hooked to the master cylinder. It'll run right down this reinforcement here. And sometimes I'll put like a, a thread insert and a little Adele clamp to hold these. Um, but if it comes down, you can see down here that it's gonna wanna naturally land in the floor. So what we do is we use the forged 90 degree side and we drill the hole in the floor right here. That way this sinks down to the floor pretty close and tidy and then the hose can, can keep to the floor pretty tight too. Honestly, once carpet's in here, you don't, you don't notice this at all and the pedal isn't in a spot where it would ever interfere with it. So let me show you outside the cab why we like to put it there. So we're outside the cab and I'm gonna show you why we like to make the pressure output in the, in the tow board. So right about here is where that fitting's gonna pop out. Um, one, you know, this will keep it from getting any kind of rock chip damage or anything. But the other reason is once that comes straight through here, um, we like to open this hole up just a little bit. Um, you can drill a new hole in this if you wanted to, but if you just open this up a little bit, you can run the hose through here and connect it on this end. And then if you come around over here, it, it allows you a really nice straight shot straight over. Um, to where the slave cylinder is. So that way all the plumbing's really low and tidy. And then the only thing you're gonna see on the firewall then is where that little black bulkhead peeks through and the black hose comes up and the reservoir mounts out here. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching that section of the video. I hope that the plumbing on those pedals makes a little more sense to you. Uh, another thing to talk about when um, bleeding the brakes and bleeding the clutch, and there are people that have questions about clutch stop, the throw in that thing, you'll get a lot of engagement with, with a short amount of pe pedal travel because we use a 7 8 bore master. Um, so adjust your clutch rod long enough to where you can bleed the clutch with full stroke of the bore, you know, of the master cylinder. So, you know, don't be hard on it, but like, you know, gently bleed all the air out. And then adjust that rod to where the, the pedal is gonna contact the floor and the carpet and then just adjust it even a little tighter. So you're never gonna run into a situation where you bottom out the bore of the master or over travel uh, um, the clutch uh, pressure plate fingers. Another way to test your, your disengagement is that you can always adjust that and um, you can have somebody with like a breaker bar try to turn their back re wheel so that when you start to let off, you'll know where your engage and disengage point is and you can get closer to that. But that's how we, um, that's how we set the rod to make sure that you do have a pedal stop. So there's no other bracketry that's needed to stop the lever, just the floor. Hey, while we're over here looking at this yellow truck, I wanna give you guys a little sneak peek of a new product that some people have been asking for. This is the uh, bolt-in drive-by wire pedal bracket. Um, I'm not gonna show you too much yet, but we have been working and we're gonna start producing a bracket that holds the Corvette throttle pedal in a really comfortable spot. So anyways, be on the lookout for those.